from New York, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Uh, huh? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City. And um, a lot of email about a particular story that appeared on the CNN website. And I would like to uh, first read the letter from the listener that came in and uh, then read you the story. But uh, pretty amazing stuff. Joe R. writes in and says, Hello, Father. I was just browsing CNN's website. And they have a story that would be great for your show. There's an article posted about older women dating younger guys. The AARP. You know what the AARP is? American Association of Retired Persons. Yes. They did a study, and uh, according to their study, 35% of women are doing younger men. (laughs) I think they mean 35% of older women, because the AARP taking the study. Joe says they also bring up that horrid show, Age of Love. He said, check it out. What are your thoughts on the story? Keep up the good work. So I went to CNN.com and I got a look at the story. The story is called Older Women and Younger Men. Can it work? And it goes like this. From CNN.com. Older woman seduces younger man. Sound familiar? It's a scene from the 1967 coming-of-age classic, The Graduate. But high-profile Hollywood couples, like Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins, 12 years her junior, who met and began dating while filming an on-screen romance in the 1988 movie Bull Durham, have proven that life can indeed imitate art when it comes to matters of the heart. Of course, even a broken clock is right twice a day. How does the fact that Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins are married? Are they even married? I don't think they're married, are they? Maybe they are married. Now, I'm not sure, because so many people in Hollywood don't bother to get married. They just they just kind of have relationships. Some of them go on for a long time. Some of them don't. Well, they've been together for a long time, nonetheless. But the fact that they're together and they've been together for a long time, uh, that doesn't prove anything. There are exceptions to every rule. The story goes on to claim... Theirs, however, is a real-life love story of an older woman and younger man. It says here, something that is not so uncommon nowadays. A 2003 study by AARP revealed that 34% of all women over 40 in the survey, see, I knew it was older women, were dating younger men. And 35% preferred to dating older men. Now, hold on there. This all has to do with the word dating, something we talk about in this program all the time. 
By dating, we mean they're having sex with younger men. The fact that women are having sex with younger men does not mean the men want to marry them or are in love with them. Many of these women are members of somebody's bullpen where they are booty calls, where they are curiosities. But how many guys want to pick up the freight for that old baggage? Eh? Not many. As I have told you on this program, as an example, the oldest woman I ever dated was 62 years old. Now, when I say dated her, I dated her in the female definition of dating. We never went out on a date. She came to my place. She was a Mexican grandmother who still looked way younger than she was, but she was 62 years old with 15 grandchildren. She came to my place, very old school, made me dinner, and then rode me like a pony 12 times a day. She was in need, and that was it. That's a fact. This is why. Now, the fact that that happened, that that, of course, would add to the statistics. If, if, if she was surveyed, uh, they would say that she's 62 and she's dating a younger guy. That's what they would say. But it conveys a false impression that there is some kind of romance or some kind of permanence in the situation. She came over and it was a purely sexual arrangement. And that was it. That was it. There was no more to it than that. That was a while ago, by the way. That's not currently happening. But uh, it did happen and that's the way it was. I didn't marry her. She didn't move in with me. She was never seen in public with me. She was not my girlfriend. I was not her boyfriend. We were not fiancés. We had sex. But women define dating as porking. Dating equals porking. So the fact that all these older women are dating younger guys doesn't prove anything. It proves those women have money. Or in some cases, they are the mother of a guy's best friend, or they are the mother of the girlfriend or something. And guys have fantasies about that, but come on, you're not going to tell me that the 25-year-olds out there all want to date 48-year-olds on a permanent basis, like you want to marry them or say, this is my girlfriend. How many Ashton Kutchers are out there, really? How many Tim Robbinses are really out there? And I say there aren't that many. These are guys who are actually willing to take on the older woman, marry her, move in with her, whatever. There, there's not a lot of guys like that. I'm sure just about everybody out there has had sex with an older woman at one time or another. Oh, I'm sure of it. When I was 25 years old and working at a radio station in upstate New York, there was a 39-year-old married woman who used to come to my place or used to get a hotel room and tell me to meet her there and I would go there and ride her like a pony. So I guess you could say she was dating a younger man, but would I ever marry her? Would I ever want people to see me with her in public? The answer is no. No. Absolutely not. But women are under this delusion that this is the new trend, that this is what's happening, that there's still hope for them when they're 45 and 50 years old. And you've got to be kidding me. The story continues. Susan Winter, 52, and of course, co-author of a new book <laughs> called Older Women, Younger Men, New Options for Love and Romance, please said societal attitudes have definitely changed. And it says here she would know at 40 she was dating a 19-year-old. Well, again, she dated a 19-year-old. Did she marry a 19-year-old? No. Did she live with a 19-year-old? Well, let's find out. She said, we had to break it off. Quite frankly, oh boy, his mother made it so impossible. Winter says of the six-year relationship, which inspired her book, that kind of discrimination would not be allowable now. 
says here, Hollywood in particular has defied the ageism stereotype, with celebrities like Madonna and Demi Moore marrying significantly younger men, a 10 and 15 year age gap respectively, with director Guy Ritchie and actor Ashton Kutcher. And the public has come to accept it. Right, after we get past Madonna, Demi Moore, and Susan Sarandon, who else? Who else? Huh? It says here, moreover, says Winter, women have experienced a significant financial and status shift over the past half century. She says when women as a group are able to have their own economic and social standing and have a power base, they are now able to pick the man that they want rather than having to choose the man to support them and give them social status. Now we have choices. Well, yes. Who are all these women making all this money? And honestly, how many of them are that attractive? Let's be realistic. The piece goes on to say, but these relationships aren't always portrayed in a positive light. Terms like, well, of course, how many of the uh, older man, younger women relationships are termed in a positive light by uh, magazine articles and websites? Huh? Seriously. Ever hear the phrase dirty old man, for example? Oh, yes, these relationships aren't always portrayed in a positive light. Terms like cougar depict the woman as a predator rather than an empowered, independent, and loving person. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Says here, NBC aired a reality dating show this summer called Age of Love. That pitted women in their 20s against women in their 40s in a battle for the heart of tennis star Mark Philippoussis. Meanwhile, online dating sites urge older women who seek younger men to, quote, get what you want. Then it goes on to say here, such pairings can and do work. What does that mean that they work? Does that mean they get married, that they fall in love, they live happily ever after? No, no, they have sex. They have sex. Listen to what, what the story goes on to say. Mary Pender, 37, a high school special education teacher. In Huntington, California, Huntington Beach, California, connected with a truck driver, seven years her junior, who she met on an online dating site. Though she'd always dated older men before, quote, she thought it was exciting to date someone younger. And as it turned out, he thought it'd be just as exciting a match. She says he thinks it's cool that I am comfortable in my sexuality. He likes that I am secure in our relationship, and I have my own things to do without him. I think that's cool when women feel that way, because when they do, that gives me more time to bang other broads. I think that's great. You notice, nowhere in there does it say the two of them have gotten married or that they live together. They have dated. Just Amazing says here, indeed, the idea of dating an older woman is titillating for some younger guys. Jeremy Abelson, a self-styled dating impresario, who organized something called the Natural Selection Speed Date event that paired wealthy bachelors with beautiful women this past February in New York City, can see the appeal. By the way, Jeremy, how many of those wealthy bachelors got paired up with older women? How many? I'm waiting. Yeah. So how he's an expert on this, I don't know. He says, any young guy who has seen the movie American Pie can basically say he was right there with the Asian guy and the white guy as they were cheering for Stifler's mom. Yeah, but she was Stifler's mom. That was the appeal of it. That was what made it titillating, folks. Please. <laughs> if she was just some old bag, we wouldn't care. It was Stifler's mom. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
So anyway, um, I believe that the older woman, younger man thing is purely a function of sexuality. It is, it is women having sex with younger guys because they've got the money and power to do that, just as men with money, power, or fame uh, get younger women. There are just very few women who have the kind of money that most men have. And so this is a rarity. I also happen to believe women with money or power are frequently either bitches or fat and fuglies. Bottom line. I mean, does anybody think this is a big new trend out there? Does anybody believe that younger men want to not just date, but marry older women? Oh, please tell me. Tom Likas, 1 800 5800 866. No guy's ever going to get this good loving until they do what I want them to do. Oh, so you're a controlling bitch. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show from New York City at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Oh, just another one of these stupid stories. These stupid fantasies that women have. That we all want the older ones. <laughs> Are you kidding? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Cortez on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Great. Great. Um, yeah, I was just I just wanted to call in. I wanted to make a comment. Um, don't you find it kind of hypocritical, this whole day and age, that, you know, older men, they date younger women, they get criticized for it, they get called pervs, all this type of stuff. And then when women start doing it, Older women start dating younger men, all of a sudden it's trendy, it's empowering. Oh, it's a great, tr oh yes, it's empowering, it's wonderful, it's liberating, it's fantastic. Oh, yes. I, I, I just don't get it. I don't understand the, the whole, the whole like, basically the double standards. It seems like that all, it always plays out being a double standard for, if a man does something, then it's wrong. If a woman does something, then all of a sudden it's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, and no, uh, when when no, when old no guys uh, ignore the old bags and date the younger chicks, uh, they're, they're a bunch of dirty old men. Right. Uh, when the old bags date younger men, oh, it's fantastic. That's just great. And it's the same double standard that allows that uh, if a male teacher is dating a 16-year-old female student, he goes to prison for 20 years. And if a woman does it, uh, she gets uh, 30 days of uh, therapy, right. but, and then she's but, done. But, but, no. Right. The, paternal, the, the chick from uh, Seattle. I lived up there when that happened. And they let her out, and then she got back with the student, got pregnant by him again, and had a baby in, in, in prison. And they let her out like two years later. Right. I totally agree with you. I don't understand, I don't understand that at all. If It, if, uh, it is a double standard. You're absolutely right. Oh, no, I, you do understand it. It's a double standard. That's what it is. But, I mean, it goes, it plays out from the government all the way down. I mean, basically the government even buys into that. Of course they do. Women are delicate little flowers. Women need to be protected. Men well, are a bunch, a bunch of predators. Of that's a bunch of BS. Women are no, women can be crafty and conniving. That's what it would be. Oh, I so, agree. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I, I just want to say keep up the good work. I agree with, like, like pretty much all what you have to say, man. You, you're doing a good service. Thank you, Cortez. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, Paul. No, or, uh, you're Paul. Paul. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, I just want to say I was dating this older lady, and, uh, you know, I met her through a friend at a bar, and she was going through a divorce. How much older? She was talking. She was talking about all this money. Wait, 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 wait. How much older? Uh, she was, she was, at the time, she was 42, and I was 24. Okay. So she had some age on me. And uh, she was talking about all this money she's going to get. And, you know, at that age, my point, my point in my life, I, I wanted to party and, you know, just, you know, hang out with friends and do all that kind of stuff. So it was just an easy way, easy way for things to get paid for. And, and so she, you were doing it. Wait, wait. You were doing it for the money. Yeah, exactly. She she wouldn't let me pay for anything. 
And this went on for about six months, and she blew through about 50 grand in about six months and uh, couldn't get any more money out of her ex. And, you know, I, I, just, I was just tired of it. At that, at that point, she had fallen in love with me. And from the very beginning, I told her, you know, I'm much younger than you. I'm not interested in anybody that age. And she was in love. It was, it was really, really weird. Which which is exactly what I'm saying about these situations. Yeah. They're not relationships. They are no. arrangements. They're exactly. for sex. Yep. And I, I don't have any I problem wanted, with it, but, but women, women are being told, like, oh, don't worry about getting older because there's men who will want you. But but want you for what? Yep. She thought I was going to be like some uh, some sex servant for, for for the next couple of years, you know, just because she did all these nice things for me. Right. But the no, minute she no, was done buying no, things, no, you no, were done having sex year. with her. Yeah. She turns out in the last year now... She's uh, engaged with a, a 22-year-old and, you know, got some more money out of her ex and got her own place and sucked this guy in. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't listen to you, Tom. Obviously not. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this. Yeah, appreciate it, Tom. You blow me. Appreciate the call. I'll blow you up. Here you go, baby. Now, see, he, he proves my point. He was doing an older woman who uh, was buying him stuff. And she was doing it with money she was getting from her ex. And the minute the ex stopped paying the vagina money or whatever, uh, she stopped buying him things and uh, fell in love. And he was not interested. No surprise there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. By the way, I'm looking at the phones. All men. No women calling in. 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello to Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hey, so, you know, I agree with what you said about, you know, a lot of times these women that are dating these younger men, you know, they're, they're more financially secure because they're ugly or they're just not real pleasant people to deal with. So I think this is a perfect opportunity for men out there to finally enact a little bit of vengeance for all those years of alimony that we've all had to pay. And maybe well, that's what, the, that, that's what the last guy did, but he didn't take it to the ultimate conclusion. Yeah, see, that's where he screwed up. Now, if you're going to do it, marry them and then just take them for everything they're worth, just like they would do to us. I think it's time yeah. for a little bit of payback. There we go. So, but, uh, do, now, let me ask you this question. Do you really believe this is some big trend that uh, men want older women and they, they want to marry them and fall in love with them and things like that? I think it's the same kind of trend that you would have for people who like fat women. You're always going to have somebody out there who likes fat women. You're always going to have somebody out there who likes older women. Uh, <laughs> it's no different. Well, I, it's like chubby chasers. Exactly. I mean, are there chubby chasers? Sure there are. But does that mean that, you know, they're all going to be happily ever after and everybody's going to be... Moving towards that ideal? No, absolutely not. It's just a stupid, a stupid survey done by people trying to justify anything that they want to do in life. You are right. So, so thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, Chris. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here comes Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? I'm doing okay. Hey, good. Hey man, I just wanted to. Uh, chime in on this. Uh, these older ladies, uh, they're like uh, the donut spare tire. I mean, you just use them for a little bit, uh, you spin them around, and then, uh, you know, you get them replaced. They're just uh, <laughs> like stopgap measures. I mean, you know. You're not, you're not suggesting we use a crowbar on them? Uh, no. I mean, you pretty much, uh, you know, you uh, use them up, uh, you wipe yourself off on their uh, comforter, and then you do your wallet <laughs> check and get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I mean, I've been there so many times, it's ridiculous. And I, I don't know, you know, they're just, oh, my God, you know, is somebody paying you? It's like, no, i got to get this done. There's nobody else around. You know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to take the bus, your car breaks down, you know. I mean, it's you don't want to do it, but you, you just, there's nothing else available. Well, you know what I always say? You know, I always, I always use the analogy of the Four Seasons Hotel, most beautiful restroom in the world, Beverly Hills on Doheny. 
try it sometime. Listeners have called me. They've tried it. You go to the men's room at the Four Seasons Hotel on Doheny, exactly. and uh, it is just fantastic. You want to go to the bathroom there all the time. The lighting is perfect. You're going to look like a million bucks in there. Uh, they've got uh, all these wonderful towels when you're done washing yourself. And when you come out of there, you just feel fantastic. Fantastic. But every once in a while, you'd like to be going to the bathroom at the Four Seasons, but you have to be near a Chevron station where they haven't cleaned the bowl since 1997. Now, exactly. You're, you're going to use that bowl. There'll be nobody looking because that gas station's out in the middle of nowhere. Exactly, and sometimes it gets even worse, and the guy says, hey, the plumbing's broke, go out in the back, and you got to do that. <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. You hurt a lot of people with your advice. Who am I hurting? You hurt a lot of people call in. You say, hey, you know what? Try this. They said, oh, yeah, just get the booty and the money. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Is this really some trend that younger men are falling in love with older women? Please, stop it. Stop with these stories. For God's sake. Let's say hello to Jermaine on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Jermaine. Yeah, man. You know, I, I think that it, it, it's it's totally crazy for an older woman to really think that a younger man in his prime is really seriously trying to fall in love with someone his mom's age. That's of course. It's ridiculous to me, man. I'm 25 now. Now, when I was when I was 17 and 18, I dated a couple of older women, 25, 25 to 28. Now, back then, it was cool. I could go to school and brag to my friends about what I did, but I'm 25 now, man. What would I want with a woman 35, 40 years old? What can you do? You can't, other than financial, you can't do anything. You, you, you can't do anything for me. But, I mean, You're exactly right. I mean, honestly, me and my, me and my boy, I'm, I'm glad you got this topic today, man, because me and my boy were talking about it the other day, and um, I wouldn't mind dating an older woman now strictly for sex and money. That's it. There's no emotional commitment. You're not moving into my place. We're not getting married. I don't want you. I don't want to meet your family. You don't. I don't want you to meet mine. It's going to be for sex and money. That's it. An older woman has to be totally out of her mind to think that a younger man is honestly going to really want to fall in love with her. But if a man her age is going getting younger women, what makes you what makes you think that a younger man honestly will be attracted to her physically? Yeah, I mean, these stories say things like, ooh, can it work? Well, indeed it can. But the reality is when you say can it work, what you really mean is, you know, can you have a relationship? But the fact is guys will have sex with anything uh, that, uh, that uh, spreads its legs. I mean, but that doesn't mean we're in love with it or want to marry it. Oh, oh no, no. Yeah, having sex with anything, that, that's, our na that's in our nature, Tom. Right. That's, that's what we do. And... um I mean, hey, if if an older woman is willing to to uh, to help me out, pay my bills, and take care of me financially, I'll go for it. I'm not falling in love with you. You can still live your separate life, and I'm going to live mine, and we can do whatever it is we're going to do behind closed doors where no one can see. <laughs> That's exactly right. And you don't want your friends seeing these these bitches, do you? I'm, I'm sorry. You don't want your friends seeing you with these bitches, do you? Oh hell no, Tom. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. I don't want anybody. I don't want her taking any pictures. I don't have no proof of anything that we've ever done other than my bank account by her filling it up. That's it. That's right. You ever have these chicks say, "I'd like to meet your friends. I've never met your friends before." Oh no, no, it's not. That's that's not happening, Tom. It's not going down. You're not meeting my friends. You're not meeting my family. You, I really don't want you over my house after or before before ten o'clock at night. Uh, we can do what we're gonna do, and 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 if we're gonna be out in public together, it's not. It's definitely got, not gonna be anywhere in 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 my city. No way. It's not. Happening. We can go. To, we can go to Vegas. 
You know, we'll go to Vegas somewhere. I'm in Ontario, California, so Vegas is three, about three hours away. So, yeah, we can go there. No one really knows us out there. Yeah, we can go out there and, and do whatever she want to do. But when we get back to California, you go on your way and I'm going mine. Exactly. Jermaine, thank you. Hey, Tom, hey, before you go, man, you know, because uh, I wanted to know, uh, I know that you're out there in, uh, in Hollywood. Where are the cougar ranches out there? Well, but first of all, I'm in New York right now. I'm not in uh, L.A. I, I do live in Hollywood, of course. Okay. Uh, but the uh, the places to be cougars tend to be um, in areas like in O.C., Corona del Mar. You know, anything along the water where those 55-year-old boat owners live? Oh, yeah. You usually have the 45-year-olds trying to live off their fumes. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Those are the I kinds guess. of places you want to go. Okay, no problem. I got that. Any cool. place with, and by the way, any place with like a piano bar. And if you want to go someplace, um, I guess like closer to L.A., uh, down towards the airport, there's a there's a restaurant called the Buggy Whip, the Buggy which is Whip? a steak, the Buggy Whip, and it's a steakhouse down in Westchester. Oh, okay. Now places like that, that's where they hang out. But they go to the places that are old fashioned, old school looking, that serve whiskey sours and Tom Collins's. Okay. Yeah. You know, places yeah. like that. And Dean uh, pointed out the polo lounge, but uh, the, the, those are the high maintenance bitches. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, getting one, having one of those right now might not be a bad idea, you know. High well, if you can get one to pay your bills, then you might try that Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh, the, oh, most probably Beverly Hills. Yeah. Try that polo lounge. You know, I, yeah, I heard about that place, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, Tom, man, it was good talking to you, man. I like what you're doing. You know, keep up the good work, man. I'm here to help, Jermaine. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, uh, I was, uh, my first, uh, old lady relationship was when I was, uh, 17, still in high school with, a. she was like 32 or 34, and, uh, she was the mom on my little sister's, uh, softball team, and she, uh, she approached me at the end of the season, and, um, we, I guess, uh, aka, I don't know what you want to call it in quotes, dated, which, man, I went to her house and banged her on her couch because her daughters were sleeping in her room. And um, I was fine with it. She ended up getting into more calling me and wanting to know what I was doing. Where was I at? Man, I was I was still growing facial hair, going to the football games, and she wanted to know why I wasn't over watching a movie with her and her kids. And um, I've obviously moved on from that relationship, and what I did was I threatened her that uh, my mom had found out and my mom was going to have was going to end up kicking her ass. And um, <laughs> that's the way I got out of that one. And um, and uh, I, I was I was going after the old ones to learn. And um, I met one, the oldest. I was 21, and she was she had to have been in her mid to late 40s, and I was at the Harrah's in Laughlin. And um, another one who approached me, and like I said, I was 21. My voice was still cracking. And uh, she she knew it and approached me. And uh, banged her outside and came back. She lived in L.A. I was living in uh, outskirts of L.A. at the time. And um, she had a city job. I saw her every weekend at her house for about, at that time, there were about 20-minute intervals. Yeah, I was still young and learning. But um, next thing you know, she's using the L word and wanting to go out during the week. And, um, I, well, I guess my question to you, Tom, is, why are these? Why I, I figured the older they get, the more promiscuous and the more sexual they would want. Seeing that I was young, but why? Why do they want to carry on a relationship? Now, in most cases, in most cases, no matter how much they like to say they're just like guys and men and women are equal. Now, the emotions come into play, and then that stuff starts. Oh, and this, this woman was more psycho than any person my age ever. I had to change my cell phone. Um, it, it was a nightmare with this one. I mean, she got in, intensely psycho, and and uh, that was pretty much that was the oldest. And then I'm 27 now, so I'm I'm for the most part getting near my age range where I think within the next three to five years they'll start getting younger than me. But um, 
Yeah, I, I think it's ridiculous, man. I, women, no matter what, no matter the age, they want a relationship. They want love and all that crap, and they're just retarded to think that someone who's 21, um, it, you know, at the time, they're just dropping. I'm not looking for love. I'm looking right. for learn. That's right. And not only that, uh, you're looking for a placeholder. You know, when you're 21, women who are 21 don't want to talk to you. They're all dating guys who are 30. Yeah. So what what I recommend to 21-year-olds all the time is you do 30-year-old chicks. Right. Well, Until you're old enough that uh, you, you know, younger women uh, will then talk to you. Right. Well, and by the way, I, I like to I like to give this in common with them. Well, I like to give this reminder also to all the twenty one year old guys, the chicks who are twenty one won't talk to you. When you're thirty, the twenty one year olds will talk to you. And right now they're twelve. Right. So your future girlfriend or late night uh, booty call is right now in the seventh grade, <laughs> and uh, you just relax. She'll be she'll be popping out of the oven in a few years. Right, right, right. That's what I said. I'm, I think, and I'm that is the ultimate. The that is the ultimate revenge when you're 21 and the 21 year olds won't talk to you. It's when you're 30 and then you don't talk to the 30 year olds. You talk to the 21 year olds yourself. So it all turns back around. That's right. That's why I tell the guys: don't get married, don't fall in love, don't don't jump the gun, uh, don't freak out. This is the natural course of things. When you're 18, 19, 20, 21, women are all dating older guys. So you date older women until you're old enough to date the younger women. And the younger women are all going to be a lot younger than the women who aren't talking to you today. And by the way, when they turn 30, you are going to start looking pretty good to them. Right. Well, by then, they're too old. That's right. That's, that's, the, ultimate, uh, 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 that's the ultimate revenge. Uh, and I can't, I can't wait to start pulling that in the next few years. I'll tell you that as a... Uh... My 10-year reunion, uh, high school reunion's coming around. Uh, i got to get out there and find myself a young end to take. Well, so, that's right, because you want to know something? All those old hags who've already been married once, uh, the homecoming queen, the most popular girl in school, all the girls who wouldn't talk to you in high school, they're all divorced now, and they're going to your high school reunion to catch up with people they haven't had a chance to catch up with. Uh, the right. way you get back at them is to come with somebody much younger. Well, then that's my plan for the next year, is to set that up. Um, you know, you know, at my age now, you know, I've I've had a few high school reunions, and uh, I have said point blank, why would I want to uh, catch up with any of the women I went to high school with? I can afford their daughters. <laughs> right. I like your style. <laughs> I like I like where your head's at on this one, Tom. I'm gonna have to follow you. I love it. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Lewis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. Yes. Yeah, what's happening, man? Doing a radio show. <laughs> hey, first off, hey, that Kobe thing's getting a little weird now, man. I've heard about it a million times. I, I don't know about it. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, man, I'm 20. And listen, dude, I've only, only hooked up with 30-year-olds and, like, 30 plus year olds for the last two years, like since I graduated high school. And it's pretty mutual. They don't look for love. I've never been with one girl that was like, oh, baby, like, we need to take this to the next level. Do you want to move in with me? It's not like that. It's a pretty mutual thing. I don't know where this cougar thing came on where every guy's thinking that, like, they're looking for love. It's not, it's just sex. Like, that's what it comes down to. They know it. It's, I've never had a... No, but they're looking they're, no, they're looking for sex, but eventually, if you keep banging the same one over and over, eventually, Agreed. that is what it turns into. And, and you're absolutely right. Like, the more sex you have, the more, like, uh, emotional connection they have with you, or, like, that naive thought of just, oh, you're the one for me. It's not. And, like, I've, like, had sex with, like, a girl for, like, almost a year and a half, and for my standards, that's quite a long time, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Like, it, it never really got to that point, you know, and it never really did. Yeah, and, I, I understand, but we are out of time for this hour. Thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. The Tom Likas Show.